I think uh, the work around um, personalized learning that, that IMS in particular has contributed to or is con continuing to contribute to, I mean, it starts with, as an example, things like um, learning tools interoperability, LTI. I mean, you know, I worked on that, um, that SIG and that charter a, a while ago, and, and it's come a long way. It's been evolved. It's been implemented. But I think now when you start talking about personalized learning, it, it's almost gotten a, a rebirth in a sense that um, personalization has a lot to do with what tools and what applications a particular instructor wants to use for their curriculum and what a student wants to do, wants to use in order to actually learn. And that's different. Uh, sometimes the instructor prescribes something, it doesn't work for certain students, but having a variety of different tools that can plug into a framework uh, that can then be uh, customized or adapted for a particular either instructor or student uh, is, is just one example of how interoperability can fuel personalization, both for the instructor as well as for the student.